to make carefully designed concrete that is both strong and durable. Making such concrete requires cement. Cement is made from limestone, but we will run out of this resource in 100 years at the current rate of use. We will face major problems if we run out of concrete in another 100 years. Buildings, roads, bridges, and other social infrastructure around us are all made from concrete. It's hard to even imagine the difficulties we'd face if we ran out of concrete in 100 years. We must recycle concrete to prevent depletion of the resource. That's the driving force behind my research. By volume, concrete is 70% aggregates, including gravel and sand from rivers in the ocean. The remaining 30% is hardened cement matrix binding aggregates. This cement paste contains calcium, which forms bonds that harden the concrete. The CO2 emitted during the production of cement is used by the calcium in the recycled concrete to form bonds once again. Crushed concrete is bonded again by the calcium carbonate. Finding a way to do this will eliminate the need to calcine the raw materials for cement at 1,450 degrees Celsius, or even mine limestone. Huge quantities of calcium are already found in the concrete, as is carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Together, this will create a system for reducing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere while reusing the calcium in concrete to recycle the resource. There'll no longer be a need to mine more limestone, and it will reduce CO2 emissions. We launched this project in the hope of developing concrete that would kill two birds with one stone. As you know, limestone caves are created by the dissolving of limestone, which is redeposited to form a variety of shapes through crystallization. But limestone caves take an extremely long time to form. We cannot realistically hope to spend such a long time, so the main goal of our project is to speed up this natural process to keep up with the pace of concrete construction. That will also mean the capturing and fixing of carbon dioxide at the same rate, while ensuring the adequate production of concrete. Speeding up the process will also lead to greater energy consumption. So, the key lies in minimizing the use of energy in recycling concrete to make calcium carbonate. To use the recycled calcium carbonate concrete in building actual structures, it will need to meet the concrete strength requirements of the Building Standards Act. We're currently striving to develop a new concrete to meet these strength requirements, and we're one step away from achieving this goal. So far, humans have made steel-reinforced concrete structures capable of lasting more than 100 years, or even two to 300 years. We are trying to develop a new concrete for the future in this Moonshot project. Concrete is indispensable to construction, and it's the second most widely used substance after water. We can use it to fix and recycle one billion tons of carbon dioxide per year. This is known as white carbon. NATO.